I, what I love about you is like, you're you're like me in the sense like if you have an idea I'm gonna I'm gonna execute. Hey my man, I'm yes do it. dude, yeah. I mean, Whatever that idea you had to say or thought or like message you want to give to the world, yeah, say it now. Yes, in whatever way you can. definitely uh, you know helped a lot because being you know the artist's journey no it's difficult it's like, man. Yeah. you need to support were all you can yeah. get like, were you your parents it. supportive or uh, n not initially uh, okay they're definitely more supportive this is probably the most supportive they've been because they, they kind of see the the fruits yeah, of the labor yeah now you're a professional man you're yeah. big time you see the fruits yeah. of the labor yeah so dude. then you kind of go with it <laughs> but then like I used to be like angry and resentful like uh, like, okay. I wish I had more support, but yeah. but I, like I really, I think I understand where it comes from. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. I really can't hold it against it. No, I feel it, man. I, even I wouldn't because, tell. Yeah, yeah it, it, no, no. What were you? Well, I, I was like, I was gonna say like I wouldn't tell my kids to go into entertainment. I think. Yeah. If my son tomorrow was like, yo, I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to be a YouTube guy. Yeah. No. I was like, son. This is a vertical you family. You shut the hell up, kid. No, no, we no. are a vertical family. We are a TikTok family. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> we don't do that horizontal crap in this house. Nice, yeah. Damn. So I get where it comes from. That's, uh, that's my point. Yeah, no, I feel it. I think I, I understand, it. like, I can understand why you were hesitant. Because the odds are really against you. Actually. Nah, they are. And that's the thing. When you're starting out, you don't realize, like, how wrong it's actually going to be. Like, I feel like... For me, I was always comparing to other previous rappers. Yeah. And I was like, because I started doing it when I was maybe 22, right? Which is also, it's kind of late, because a lot of kids start in, in high school. In high school, yeah. And like, it's easier to start as a kid because you have more confidence, I think. But like... You're, so you're still free at that age. Yeah, you're still free, yeah. You, you take creative risks. Yeah, the world hasn't beat you down. Yeah, yeah. It's a, you know, you haven't like, told the rules. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I was always like, you know, Eminem, he made it when he was like 27 or 28. Yeah, yeah. Jay-Z was 30. Right. So I was always using those numbers, but then like, you know, I, I passed those numbers and I was like, damn, it's... When does it end? So <laughs> 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 as an actor, we have numbers, do we look for it? Yeah. I keep going back to the video where like, uh, Samuel Jackson was 35 when he made it big. Yeah, yeah. Viola Davis was... 38. And I'm getting close to those numbers. Yeah, like, no, dude, fuck, like, bro. Yeah. One day yeah. there's going to be a number on me. Like, uh, yeah. Vic Christian was 67 yeah. <laughs> when he made it. Yeah. No, but that's what I realized that. Because yeah. really, you got to be prepared for the long. long yeah, you got to really, you gotta really it. love it. Yeah, you got to love it. Yeah, you got to love it. I mean, I know that you, I, I see it. Like, I, I know I'm you man. love music for the love of music. And that's what you're hey. chasing. I think that those who are just chasing fame or Some, clout, yeah, those kind of die off. It's true. Yeah. Sooner or later, you know. Yeah. No, and the right. real ones stick yeah. around. The real ones stick around. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As 
because when we were in high school, my mom bought like four gallons of milk a week. I would probably drink a gallon every other day. That's a little outrageous. This is post breast. Some considerable time between. I'm not saying I drank. I probably did. I don't know. How much breast milk do babies drink? Also, um, one thing I'm worried about with this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that really got me. That whole segment. I don't know why you felt the need to talk about the distinction between you drinking gallons of milk and when you were breastfed. I didn't want someone to watch this to think, oh my gosh, how does he know how much breast milk he drank? So, next year is an election year. Oh. We're not <laughs> huh? Does anyone make this up here? At all? They're sparkling wine. Uh -huh. All right. So what the fuck was that? I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue. Like, I couldn't but they were tell both if she liked him or if she hated him. And it's the first date, and I have a suspicion that she wants to like get laid. Which yeah, right. she she was just like on she her was own ready. Vibe, honestly, but All like the, yeah, I can relate. I mean, mm -hmm. totally. Mm. Just, damn, he was not that funny. Yeah, but he was there. Which is like a lot, I guess. I don't know. He's had a vasectomy. He is. That's, that's points. That's points. At least for what I'm saying. He's not an American. I have it on yeah, it's easier to get him outside of this country. Fuck it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I would do like, I would make spoof rap albums in high school. Oh, damn. So I'd do like parody rap albums. That was Vic albums. Nasty. That was Vic Nasty. Hey, that was the birth yes, of Vic dude. Nasty. Oh, yeah, shit, that was dude. my rap name, Vic Nasty. Uh, yeah, we gotta do something. We gotta do a song or something. Yeah. yeah. After, okay, so in college, that's when you, how'd you come up with Jay Killa, the name? Well, because it's like my, my last name is Killa Chant or Killachin. Killachin. Yeah. Oh. So, so it's uh, a riff on that. Yeah. So you know, in high school, in middle, no one could pr ever pronounce my name, like right. you know, teachers and stuff. So like, people started calling me Killa. Uh, and is Jay your real name? Like, Jay's my full, real name. Yeah, my full name. Full like, name. Yeah. Un uncut. Uncut. Yeah, because uh, you know, my parents they wanted me and my brother to have names that could work both in India and here. Nice. So Smart like, man. That's what my dad did too. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> hey, respect. So my name, my good. full name is Vignesh. Vignesh. Oh shit. Okay. But uh, yeah. I go by Vic. Right. Yeah. Because, but the, the thing that would, it's usually spelled Vignesh. V I G? V I G N E S H. Oh, okay. But they said, like, Vig is not really a, Na a yeah. name that's kind of known in America, right? Right, right, but right. Vic exists. For okay, Victor. Yeah. So they changed it to V I C K N E S H. Oh, hey. So then it became Vignesh. Oh. Yeah. That's sick. That's yeah. smart. Yeah, yeah, damn. So then yeah. it's kind of like both Western and In Indian. Indian. Kind of like a little split. Hey, yes. The crossover. Yeah. Global citizen. Global yeah. citizen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's smart, man. And Jay yeah. Killer, that, that's worked perfectly. Ah, uh, thank you. Just yeah. Him, Jay Killer. I, uh... Get sometimes. the villa. Hey. Here in the villa. Oh. I'm China. still a G. Make Drinking a, a T and G. Oh. That's tonic and gin. I'm going in. I'm coming out like a dolphin fin. Woo! Damn, dude. You got bars. <laughs> this is we in a bar. Uh, Let's go and get I the can't. car. Whoa. Go outside, look at the star. I can see it from afar. Yo, is that Mars? Oh. I, put, I made it plural. Oh, shit. I uh, fucked up. Nah, it's good. It's, good, <laughs> it's smooth. That's smooth. <laughs> Um, no, I was uh, rap rapping. I, I used to think I would become a rapper too. I think you got. I can see it. I can see yeah. it. Is it in yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I want to yeah. be, like, be just like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> we can bring it back, dude. We can bring it it's back. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, basically, I mean, you guys are. I mean, I really. Yeah. I view rap like it's like poetry. Exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 You're a writer too, right? You're, You're a writer. writer. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's why I think I see the adjacent yeah. worlds. And it's clever, you know. Rap is so clever. Yeah, and it's witty and it's, yeah. it's smart. I think people yeah. like think like rap is. I hate that like when people oh rap is dumb, dumb. and like just yeah. vulgar, but it's so like clever, smart. smart. Yeah, like, the metaphor. It's poetry. Yeah, man, really. No, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at a guy like Kendrick Lamar. Like, oh dude, yeah, it is yeah. like it's like Shakespeare. Yeah. Level like modern, like better than Shakespeare. Like it's it's so yeah modern Shakespeare. Like yeah. it's so like 
elevated deep. and yeah. deep. Thank you. Hey, there, there's another show, right? There's another music show, right? No, the music is over today, though. Oh, there's only one show? Yeah, only one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Love that. Obviously, the live music every night gives you something to kind of work alongside of, but it also just uh, provides a rhythm to work to. I'll be honest with you, a lot of the time, I'm just like trying to remember the last thing I'm supposed to be doing. And so it's just like, I'll be like, oh, Ragtime's playing. I'm like so fucked right now. But, uh, you know, I'm only three or four shifts in, so we'll see. I got into this industry when I was about 14, 13, 14, as a dishwasher and a prep cook. Uh, and then I slowly worked my way up into the kitchen, doing various cooking stations and being very sweaty. And then when I was a young man, I moved to the front of the house as a waiter in New York City and started making a lot more money. And I've been doing that for several years, trying to figure out a way to not be a waiter anymore. It's not going very well. But yeah, it's a good industry. It's a, it gives you a lot of time for doing artistic endeavors. Usually meet a lot of like-minded individuals. Two people inside. Uh, yeah. Two people inside. Hey. Maybe we make the last call in 30 minutes. Okay. I don't know. You let me know. Acting, I always, I always, actually, I always thought I was gonna be a director first. Director. Oh, damn. Because I watched Jurassic Park. Like that was the movie for me as a kid. Like that, that, that oh, like that first one. The first Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, dude. That <laughs> like, it blew me away. Damn. Okay. Yeah. As a kid, and I was like, and I was just noticing all the things like yeah. Spielberg did too. Oh like, yeah. Like when the damn. dinosaurs were like, uh, like coming. Uh, yeah. He would do a shot of like a glass of water. Oh yeah. And you see damn. the glass of water shake. shaking. I was like, bro, Shit. that is genius. Yeah, damn. Wow. Like that's how you instill fear. Is like it? in the audience, like like threat is coming. Like you sh you don't you don't show what's coming. Yeah. You show the like things. how it's affecting the environment. Yeah, damn. How old right. were you then? How old was it? Yeah. I can't remember. Man. Okay, that's crazy, dude. That's yeah. Crazy though. That, but that's that, something. Yo, that is. It's amazing, like how you can like uh, conduct the audience's feelings. Right. And emotions through, to yeah. visuals and orchestrated beautifully, man. Yes. For the, the viewer. Because yeah. I was like on the, on the edge of my seat, like, oh right. my gosh, yeah. the dinosaurs are coming. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Run. Hey. Uh, that you was the movie that totally inspired me to like get into filmmaking. Wow, that's dope, man. Uh, Damn. And what is it you think about acting that you like a lot? Okay, the dark answer? Yeah, well, <laughs> let's hear the dark and the light. <laughs> The dark answer is I feel like it, it lets me escape me. Oh, yes, dude. Damn, that's dope. Yeah. I think I like not being myself. I feel that. I definitely kinda, feel that, yeah. It's, it's, it's a loaded answer, but like there's a lot to unpack there. No, that's real. That's but real, there's yeah. some parts of me I'm just trying to escape, man. Yeah, and yeah. I think having a character uh, helps me process a lot of things that are happening to actual Vic. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think actual Vic is going through a lot, a lot yeah. of, uh, I think actual Vic is maybe not as strong as this character, maybe not as, as cunning, as, as smart as this character, as uh, brave as this character. So I get to be a better version of myself in certain times. Oh, that's deep, yeah. Or I get to confront the worst versions of, uh, worst parts of Vic that's also. Right. Damn. And maybe process it. Yeah. Um, my ex-girlfriend, like, she would always say, like, like you're not able to show emotions in real life, but you can show it on camera. Oh shit! It's dude. weird, man. So I can, yeah. like, I can, like, I can cry on the cue. Yeah. You on can. Ca on camera. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But in a very similar in life experience that you expect a person could cry. Yeah. I kind of block myself. Okay, yeah, yeah. Damn. It's, just, it's weird, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm still like learning about myself and like, yeah. but, but acting really gives me an outlet. I feel that, dude, yeah. I feel to that. To process the best and worst emotions. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. On a height, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, dude, I'm similar, I'm similar.
It's a Bollywood party. We gon' make a movie. Tell your girl I'm sorry. I've been acting bougie. I'm oh, George Clooney. Or maybe I'm your con. I do my own stunts and production. I'm hanging out with Deepa Go. I ain't got. I mean, I need a cigarette so I can roll up. I'm just too fly. Please adjust your top. Call me cushy, call me gum, but I'm always high. This is for my people who are stacking up their funds. Tell me what's the scene. Let's camera action. We gon' do it big. We gon' get it poppin'. Playing through. But I'm here with Loka, it's all from me smoking. Took a couple shots, about to leave the spot. This is why, this is why, this is why. It's a Bollywood party, I'ma call Amita. Tell them we can get a pop bar, it's a Bollywood party. Yeah, man, because it's like, I mean, it's little things, you know? I mean, Mumbai, it's still more crowded, yeah. more polluted. But like, there have been so many moments that I've had this summer where I'm like, shit, it's the same. Like, people riding their scooters on the sidewalk here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the bike? The yeah. bike is becoming like a, like a pandemic, man. It's crazy. There are a lot There's so now. many damn deliveries. Uh, like, yeah. they're all flooding. Like, it is more dangerous in cars now. Bikes, like active bikes just on the bike damn, lane, really? si on the sidewalks. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. What people don't realize is that, like, the young people in Mumbai, right? Like, people our age, younger, too, they're basically the same as us. Yeah. Like, they do the same things. Right. Everyone there smokes weed, they drink, they party. Nice. And uh, it's like, you know, most people out here still think that India is just Bollywood. And like yeah, Bollywood. yeah, dude, it's yeah, like, it's 100%. Like, bro, it's like that they moved on. It's a Bollywood party. I'm a call Ami Top. Tell them we gon' get it pop on. It's a Bollywood party. I'm a call Ali, yeah. Stay up till six in the morning. It's a Bollywood party. People out there, yeah. They really want to be Western. A lot of the people like they they yeah, listen, they're they, trying to emulate Western Western culture. Western culture yeah. Yeah. But then the Indian people here, they want to be as Indian as possible. Totally, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel that we we're trying to like connect to our roots. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Again. I actually do. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know the Bar Bharatanatyam? Yes, dude. Yeah. I do yeah, that. You told me that. Yeah. yeah that's dude, sick. I'm trying yeah. to connect back to my roots. Hell yeah. No. Hell yeah. How how often do you do that? Uh, I had to take a break because all the like the comedy stuff kind of took off, mm. like stand up comedy. But like I'm gonna, I think I go back tomorrow actually. Going back tomorrow? So going back tomorrow. Oh, thank Robert. you. Thank you so much. Uh, to my first class. But that is so true. I think like we're trying to be, we're trying to like retain, uh, hold on to our roots, and they're trying to like embrace a new culture. Yes. And yeah. make it modernized. Yeah. But yeah. But you, you, I mean, you, you incorporated your like Hindi in your songs, though, right? Yeah. You I was keep trying. it like kind of like mix of both, you, both both your identities. Like that's being what I was Indian trying, yeah. And American. Yeah. I but, love that though. I love. Uh, thank I love you. making like, I mean, I mean kind of like me, uh, mashing the two cultures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that too. You do all. Like, I try to do that. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes yeah. the Indians in India get really mad. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, they get really mad. Like we're not like that anymore, man. That's yeah. outdated. Yeah. That's yeah, so like, funny. Bro, well, I, I'm sorry, I haven't been there in a while, man. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm doing my best. No, but that's what's funny, dude. It's like, you know, uh, it's like even me, it's like I'm not, it's like, I'm not Indian enough to be with the Indian people. Yeah. Not white enough to be here with the American. No. But I'm more, Amer I think I'm more American than Indian. But well, yeah, you're definitely but I, a unique breed, yeah. But I, I do like, merging the cultures is the future, I think. Yeah, that's, but it's, it's like, a difficult task to make both parties happy yeah, both like yeah. OG Indians and OG Americans yeah uh, that's the thing you can't make everyone happy can't make everybody but, but I think, like, I think yeah. no artist can though yeah 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 yeah. I think it, it's always going to be some people with an opinion uh, yeah that's what I was thinking it's like I'm not trying to live for these algorithms yeah you know? dude it's like and I think they're in India man these coders <laughs> you go talk to them uh, they could be yeah well I tell them to help out a Indian the, brother like me hey <laughs> <laughs> I'll speak to them what was that thing? Uh, Imran and uh, Arjun and Imran. Arjun and Imran, yeah, yeah, the chat AI, yeah, yeah, that's what AI is. It's oh, just open two, AI. It's just two Indian guys named Arjun and Imran. They yes, are AI. dude, yes. And they're working really hard for all of us, <laughs> which are essays, kids. I'm a